Ahoy and welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here without Geeky Sparkle. She's actually sick today. Uh, so I'm going to be flying solo on the next couple of videos. But we want to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean 6. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 6 from everything we've heard is going to be a reboot. But not just any reboot. They're actually going to reboot the uh, lead pirate. In the series, it will not be Captain Jack Sparrow, it will not be Johnny Depp, but there is a rumor that the new lead of Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is going to be female. And uh, now, Disney Parks fans will be familiar with the character that they're talking about bringing in to take over for Johnny Depp's uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. That is Red. Red the Pirate, or formerly the uh, the Redhead in the Wench Auction, um, she is not exactly endeared to uh, Disney fans. Now, see, earlier in the year, Disney actually decided to, well, actually, I guess it was announced last year, they decided to replace the, the uh, Wench Auction scene in Pirates of the Caribbean in all versions. Uh, this was met with a lot of criticism from longtime Disney fans. Um, the Redhead, in particular, uh, has always been a favorite with Disney fans, but there was a, uh, a group of women within Disney um, that was formed to make these sort of decisions, I guess, uh, in dealing with uh, the characters, and they decided to scrap the scene. Now, nobody had complained about the wench auction scene that I'm aware of. You never heard any media outrage about it or, or anything. Um, but Disney decided to Disney decided to uh, scrap that scene and replace it with a more progressive pirate version of uh, the redhead, and they're now calling her Red. Uh, she does have a speaking role on the attraction. She carries a gun. Instead of auctioning women in this part of the attraction, uh, she's overseeing a, uh, a treasure auction, um, which is kind of weird that you know pirates who uh, uh, plunder would be selling merchandise to other pirates. you think they'd just be stealing it and shooting each other for it, but hey, whatever. Um, now, being huge Disney fans, Geeky and I are massive, massive Disney Parks fans. Uh, we're at one of the parks, either Walt Disney World or Disneyland, almost every month. And, um, you know, when we saw this, Disney decided to push really, really hard uh, with making the change um, to this this character. We're like, there's, there's obviously something else going on here. They wouldn't just change the attraction for no reason. And uh, now a rumor is coming out from, I believe, Hybrid News was the first to have it. That Disney is actually looking to uh, bring in Red as the uh, main character of the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. So, um, no idea where they got this from. They said they got it from people within Disney. We actually have not heard this rumor, but it does make sense given how much uh, Disney has been pushing this character regardless of the feelings of uh, longtime Parks fans like, like I showed you before. Um, there were many uh, change.org petitions to keep the redhead. I know when when they announced the change at D23, uh, the one year there were actually boos from the audience. If you're not familiar with the uh, the wench auction scene, um, it's basically women being auctioned off by pirates with uh, the redhead pirate now red um, being the uh, the star of that scene with the classic line we once the redhead. Uh, chanted by the pirates. Of course, that's gone now. Now it's We Wants the Rum because she's auctioning off rum. It really doesn't make a lot of sense, but the scene's not... It's not completely terrible, but, uh, you know, it's not the original. It's not the original. So here's the original rumor coming from Hybrid News. Uh, Red to replace Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. Last month, it was reported that Disney was looking to reboot their billion-dollar Pirates of the Caribbean franchise with Deadpool writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, who are now in early talks to write the script. That might actually be a good choice. Uh, now we have a possible update regarding the film. We're hearing from multiple sources that Disney is indeed ready to part ways with Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow character that has led the franchise over the past five films. We're also hearing the studio is looking to center the franchise on Red, the recently revamped character in the popular Disneyland attraction, who is also a meet-and-greet park character. Uh, like I said, it's not just Disneyland. They've actually uh, installed Red in uh, all versions of Pirates of the Caribbean worldwide. Disney came to this decision after consulting with a, a group of uh, women that they put together uh, within the company. 
that was sort of their their uh, <laughs> you know agenda was to uh, change change the wench auction scene again. I don't recall many park goers actually complaining about it, but they felt that its time had come. Now, it should be noted that this script is not finished and things can certainly change. That being said, Disney already has multiple female-led blockbusters in the works, such as Captain Marvel next March, the standalone Black Widow movie, and Maleficent 2. So it would make sense and would be a fresh take for Disney to make this change for a Pirates franchise that was starting to get tiresome with Depp in the lead. I don't know if this is going to help. It depends on who they cast. It's unclear if the previous uh, director will return. Uh, the information had been based on an early version of the project before reboot plans were revealed. Jerry Bruckheimer will once again board the ship as producer. The ending to the last film left the door wide open for a potential Orlando Bloom, Keira Knightley, Brenton Thwaites, and Kayla Scodelario led six film. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right, but uh, there we go. Uh, it's unclear if these characters will be part of the reboot at this time. The big question is who will play Red? Okay, this this is <laughs> this could be interesting. The big question is who will play Red? There are a lot of talented actresses that are possible. A name we like is Daisy Ridley. She's a Disney alumni that could uh, see her Star Wars franchise on hiatus for a couple of years following Episode Nine. It might be a good fit for the role, considering she already has some stunt sword training under her belt, making her a hypothetical candidate for the role. Uh I don't think a lot of people are going to be on board with uh, a Daisy Ridley led Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. Just I'm I'm just going to put that out there. I think there's with uh, fandom there's a there's a lot of negative feelings associated with Daisy Ridley not because of her being Daisy Ridley but because of the uh, Star Wars movies not being terribly good. And uh, I just don't, I don't think that's going to go over well. Uh, you know, if they cast the right person for it, I could see, I could see it maybe doing okay. The problem here is, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean was mostly successful because of Johnny Depp. It was mostly successful because of uh, Johnny Depp's Captain Jack Sparrow. I don't think the franchise can survive with somebody else in in the the, the title role. I mean, I just don't see how. Uh, you can make a Pirates movie without Johnny Depp. He's a huge draw overseas. The Pirates movies actually make most of their money in China. And, and Johnny Depp is a massive, massive name in China. It's just I don't think it's going to work. Um, but, of course, Johnny Depp is, Johnny Depp is uh, you know, on the outs in Hollywood right now. And we're going to talk about this more in another video, uh, talking about the crimes of Grindelwald and how um, maybe Rotten Tomatoes uh, scores are skewed because Hollywood, progressive Hollywood, really hates Johnny Depp right now. Um, and Disney is trying to wash their hands of Johnny Depp right now because of the uh, debacle with his uh, domestic dispute. Um, so he is uh, sort, of, uh, sort of on the outs. So clearly Disney wants to move forward with more pirates just without Johnny Depp. Um, now, here's the thing, too, that's that's interesting. We talked about this uh, before in regards to Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, even though the Star Wars films are not doing that well, um, you know, they're probably going to make a lot of money off of Star Wars and the theme parks. And this is why they insist, I think, on pushing forward with more Pirates movies, even though nobody really wants them, <laughs> is because they want to have... Uh, new characters, new attractions, new experiences based on that franchise in the park. Now, there is the classic version of Pirates of the Caribbean, which is in Disneyland and Disney World, and they did add the red character to it. But in China, again, where Johnny Depp is really big, they actually have a uh, brand new Pirates of the Caribbean attraction there based on the movies, based on uh, Jack Sparrow and Davy Jones. Uh, it's Battle for the Sunken Treasure, I think it's called. It's in Disneyland Shanghai. It's freaking amazing. However, if Disney would, uh, you know, keep the Pirates franchise going, it's possible. It's possible they could actually create more uh, attractions based on the movie franchise. So this is coming from the New York Times. We just want to put things in perspective here. Uh, people keep thinking that the theme parks are an afterthought for Disney. They are not. They are actually creating movies to create experiences in their theme parks. Disney is actually spending more money on theme parks than they are on movies. So let's look at this from the New York Times. Disney is spending more on theme parks than it did on Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm combined. 
There's nothing small about Walt Disney World. It's made up of four separate theme parks in Lake Buena Vista, Florida, near Orlando, with a combined annual attendance of 56 million. Now, Disney World and Disney's global vacation empire is about to get much, much bigger. This is very true. Disney is dumping a lot of money into the theme parks, a lot of money into the theme parks, uh, which, again, leads to speculation that they might close down some uh, underperforming divisions of the company to free up cash uh, for their theme park uh, empire. With its television business facing significant challenges in the streaming age and lots of popular movie franchises to put to use, Disney is spending billions to supercharge its theme park division, which has emerged as a surprisingly strong moneymaker. That should not be surprising. The attendance at Walt Disney World is insane. It has been insane all year. They're uh, driving the costs up of Walt Disney World, and it's not deterring attendance at all. People are dropping five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars on family vacations in Disney World, and they're not even flinching. They're not even flinching. That's you know, Disney parks uh, provide a very unique experience, and uh, people they just they want a hit of that. They want a hit of that. Uh, for the 2018 fiscal year, Walt Disney Parks and Resorts had an operating profit of 4.5 billion, an increase of more than 100% from five years earlier. For comparison. Disney Media Networks, home to ESPN and ABC, had a profit of $6.6 billion, a 3% decline. Each of Disney's six theme park resorts around the world is undergoing major expansion, along with the cruise lines. Um, an analyst estimates that Disney will spend $24 billion on new attractions, hotels, and ships all over the next five years. That's more than Disney paid for Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm combined. Again, if you've if you've been to uh, Walt Disney World lately, it is a construction site. They've got so many new attractions uh, coming between now and the 50th anniversary in 2021. They're they're pumping a ridiculous amount of money into the parks. Um, so you know, for them to to try to uh, bring a little synergy to what they're doing on the rides and what they want to be doing in the movies, uh, that should come as no surprise. But really, you know, when it comes to Disney, you know, look at look at the films coming out because I guarantee you, most of the movies that they bring out, they, they they've got an eye on a theme park attraction. Um, so obviously, they're not going to do a Nutcracker in the Four Realms uh, ride anytime soon. But yeah, if they think that there's more brand synergy between um, the new female captain who may have actually been created, not because of backlash, uh, but because of, um, you know, Disney having its eye on, on movies, um, then yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. So I don't know. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. If this is true. I mean, there's no way we can substantiate this. If it is true, then we're looking at another franchise that they're going to gender swap the, um, the lead character. I don't know how that will go if they don't pick the right person uh, for the job. So we'll see. You know, does anybody have any interest in Pirates of the Caribbean yet? Anybody watching uh, actually want to see another Pirates movie? Or are you done with it? Have you been done with it? Because it seems like a lot of people have been done with it since the second or third movie. Um, you know, what do you think uh, if you are a Pirates of the Caribbean fan of them uh, just rebooting the franchise or doing a soft reboot with a female lead? Is that something you'd be interested in watching or not? How do you think this is going to play out? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. This has been Neon for Clownfish TV. Stick around for more pop culture news, views, and rants art videos, gaming videos, and more. We will talk later.